Okay, so in the last video I posted regarding the DeWalt and uh, Ryobi string trimmers, uh, I wanted to kind of go over some of the issues I had with this and how I was able to, you know, kind of fix it or manage it, you know, for the meantime. I did message DeWalt, I emailed them, and uh, I mean, I've only had this for about two weeks, and I've used it for probably about an hour, an hour of total runtime. What would happen is it would stop, it would just stop running after a few minutes, uh, maybe five, 10 minutes of consecutive running. Uh, and I have, you know, a big spot by the, uh, the garage or by the street, I should say, that has, you know, a ditch and it's got tons and tons of weeds. And so this is something that I needed something durable specifically for that reason. And I had to stop a couple different times because I couldn't get the job done, you know, in one motion. So um, I did a little more research on this. And, you know, some people were saying that uh, the wires in, in the motor housing, et cetera, especially towards the back, the battery housing, I should say, um, where they kind of come come loose a little bit and uh you know i didn't really think that was really the problem because it would continue to run after a few minutes so i said okay well is it overheating and i thought maybe the battery was just getting hot so i would test test the battery out and it would be a full battery and then um took this out and realized okay i'm gonna just do some more research on it and then i found out that you know to begin with i didn't like the design on this on this motor head okay um i choose not to use the the shield on this it's just i don't like them they're just they kind of get in the way and they often tend to break especially if it falls down or whatever but um so it kind of sets in here right and i don't know if it's just a design flaw or what but um there's a bunch of holes on here right so a lot of vent holes right here on the actual housing itself and you know right here and then right here so what i found is that there's a lot of dirt and debris that can get in here especially after consistent use for a few minutes of you know solid runtime. And also, if you decide not to use this, there's a spot right here on the uh, back side. You can kind of see it right here. So there's a big gap right here that kind of feeds into the actual housing unit itself where the motor is. And I realized that this thing was just covered in debris and dirt, right? And grass everywhere. So um, I believe that it's just overheating because of the debris stopping it from getting the proper ventilation. So what I did, um, and what you might want to do if you decide not to use this, is uh, take your air compressor, turn it on here, and you just want to blow it all out. So in all areas, and um, essentially, this thing was a lot worse but I was able to uh, take care of that and then I ran it, you know, I tested it two or three more times and ran it 15 minutes consistently easily. So I haven't had any issues with it since. So hoping that takes care of it. But you know, on this Ryobi, it's just the design looks a lot better, right? The motor's at the top here. I mean, it's ventilated. This The motor's bad on this thing anyways, but um, the design seems to be a lot better on this. And down here, if you choose not to use the guard, I mean, there's nothing that's gonna get in the way of it. The debris doesn't have anywhere to go, so. Um, just uh, something that you know you might want to think about or consider if you guys do have this issue and um, what to look for. So, hope you found this video helpful and useful. Please stay, please stay tuned for uh, further videos, and we'll see you. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.